I'm Kelly from Kelly Jones Jewellery. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this cute pendant. It's made using a drilled stone, so you're talking a large bead or this is a heart, you can use any shape you like, drilled from the top to the bottom. So there's a hole straight the way through. You can ask your gemstone seller to drill the stone or you could go to who I went to for this beautiful stone and that's Gail on Facebook, Cabochon Cafe. So I'll put a list in the description below of everything you'll need to make this pendant along with all my usual links. We've got Facebook, Instagram, I think I've got Twitter on there as well now. Um, and there's my Etsy shop where I sell all my written tutorials. To make this pendant you'll need 0.8mm wire, that's 20 gauge. And today I've cut just one length at 7 inches, 18 centimetres. You'll need 0.315mm weaving wire. I've wound mine onto a bobbin. If you don't have a bobbin, don't worry. These are just for, they're really good for just stopping the wire from flailing about while you're working. This is a Bobby's bobbin by Beadsmith. You'll need a drilled uh, cabochon or a large bead. This has got a hole from the top to the bottom, so it's drilled all the way through from the top to the bottom. So it's just a big bead or a drilled stone. Mine is heart shaped. You can use any shape stone you like. I've got this one from Gail, Cabochon Cafe on Facebook groups. Or you'll need a little three millimeter bead. For tools, I've got my pliers, round nose pliers and wire cutters. So today I'm gonna to be using Tronics. I'm, I'm using Tronics, I know they're expensive, but in the long run, you don't have to keep buying tools. If you buy the cheap ones, you have to keep buying tools. So there we go, and I've got a list in the description below of all of these things, including exactly what the tools are and everything. So check that out if you want to, and let's get started. So find the centre of your wire. We're going to put a bend on it. So we're just bending it at the centre. Slide your bead down or your drilled cab down to that centre point. And we're going to bend the bottom wire up the back of the stone. So it looks like you've just got two wires coming out the top. But you've in fact got that bottom wire coming out of the bottom of the stone and going up to the top. And then where the wire at the back reaches the top, we bend it over to the front. And this is just so we can get the two wires to sit next to each other. So you really pull it over the stone so it comes over nice and tight. And then you grab the wire. Oops. And bend it straight up. So the two wires are now sat next to each other. So we're now going to weave across these two wires. You want them to be as central as you can get them. So take your weaving wire. And we're going to start with three wraps around the bottom wire. And then we go over the top, so we've gone once around both wires. Come up between those two wires, over the top, under the bottom, around the bottom wire. And that's our repeat. I'm going to slide that down as far as it'll go. So we go around once around both wires, once around the top wire once around the bottom wire and keep pushing that weave together as you go.
So I've done about two centimetres of that weave. And then I'll finish with a few wraps around the one side. I cut that tail end off from the beginning. Always flatten down any sharp cut ends. And then we're going to bend that weave forwards. Bend it over. And if you do slow little movements, you're less likely to make big mistakes. Mine's got a wobble in it. My weave isn't straight. If you've got bail pliers, you can always use bail pliers to do this. So as the weaves come together, I'm separating my wires. Because I want the wires to come over the stone to the front. So I'm carefully just wriggling it together and letting those wires come over to the front on each side. <clears throat> so you've got a nice loop on the top there. And that's your bail to put your cord through or your chain. So we can cut this wire. Flatten down the sharp bit. So now looking at these two wires that are pointing forwards, we're going to take one above and one below. And we're going to go cross over each other like that. And then we're going to pop the little bead on the one wire. And this wire goes around this way. And this wire goes around this way. So when you're in this position, we're going to take a little piece of weaving wire. We're going to wrap three times around this right hand side, your lower wire. I'm just going to cut that off. Do I need to cut it off? Might be all right. So keep it attached for a minute. I'll cut it off if I need to. So you bring this down to the bottom here. I can cut that bit off from the beginning. And this top wire comes around to the bottom wire. Like that. And here we go around both wires. So we're just tying them together there a couple of times. And then back around that top wire a few more times. We cut that now. And the top wire 
goes around to the top. And we take it around the bail. I'm going to use my pliers because the wire is quite short. Oops. So that goes around the bail. Like that. And the bottom wire comes down into a curl at the bottom. So we're going to cut that and we're going to curl that wire. I only want a tiny curl, so I'm going to cut it quite short. And the top wire is also going to curl around, but I don't want the curl to go too far up the bail, so I'm just going to do a little curl there. So you take your round nose pliers, we're going to curl that top wire to make a little tiny curl on the top. And we're going to curl this bottom wire to make a little curl at the bottom. And there we have a cute little swirly design. I do love my curls and my swirls. I think that's turned out lovely. And like I say, you can do this on any shape stone. I'm going to run and oxidise mine and I should come and show you. So there we have it finished. And I've oxidised it and give it a quick polish. I have done a video on oxidising if you want to oxidise yours. I also made another one in square square wire all the same measurements and i twisted the one wire and i put a slightly larger bead on there so there we have it i hope you like it i really like how it turned out and thanks for watching that's gracie um and i will see you all in the next video bye